Hello everyone, welcome to today's Sky Racing Friday News and we're nearly there tomorrow. Looking forward to being at Randwick for the running of the Mini Everest, a race full of jets, six of them lining up in the Concord Stakes and a great deal of interest in Graf, a horse that ran in the Tab Everest last year uh, but is not there at this stage. Onan uh, Alan Bell has said that we're very keen to get a slot. He said, look, who knows what will unfold between now and uh, the second week of October. Will there be a change of a horse because that horse hasn't come up as well as expected so he's look he's not won't be disappointed if the horse is running on and doesn't win tomorrow and but going forward is a big positive he said uh, he's been thrilled by the way the horse has been finishing off its recent trials will be back in the field but certainly will be running on strongly in a very competitive race as the market tells us at the moment nature strip is the favorite but the outsider is red zell at eight dollars that tells us uh, all horses there between $2.30 and $8 as it stands right now at TAB, the Concord Stakes tomorrow. Well, Avilius will start a short price favourite in the Chelmsford Stakes tomorrow. The westerly winds could play a role in the outcome of all these races tomorrow. It'll be a uh, wind will be on their back, particularly in the straight. We know that Sama Doubt led them up the other day and was able to kick away in the wing stakes. Avilius finished off OK, but certainly James Cummings feeling that just having the sting out of the track, maybe a soft five tomorrow. Uh, the horse will certainly appreciate getting to a longer trip. Uh, the horse uh, will be ridden quietly as uh, Avilius enjoys. So looking forward to that tomorrow. Avilius, the short price favourite. Sama doubt at around $9 a tab at this stage. Well, the tramway stakes will see the New Zealand star Tiako Shark line up tomorrow. Uh, first time going in the Sydney direction, but is still the clear favourite. The barrier, well, it makes it a bit tricky. They'll ride back and come with one run. Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott have got Penske. Now they know that they're throwing this horse into a really competitive race but the two trials have been very sharp. They feel that uh, you know with some good runs over the next uh, couple of starts could be a lightweight chance in the Tab Epsom in October. Uh, but certainly tomorrow they do feel that uh, sitting up on the pace from barrier one Penske can go mighty close. Tiako Shark at the moment a clear favourite. Dream Force and then Penske at double figure odds for Gay and Adrian. John Thompson has two excellent runners tomorrow at Ramwick, as we've just mentioned, Dream Force in the tramway, but also Sweet Deal. Scratch today from Wyong to line up uh, tomorrow in the last race. She's won her last two in really strong fashion, been given some excellent rides by uh, jockey Nashra Willer. Uh, the build-up to this horse, this preparation has been very, very good and she just pounces on them over the concluding stages of her races. So she's right in the market at Roheron gets a start now with a couple of scratchings, Sweet Deal and Scarlet Dream, who's fresh tomorrow. The Tab Everest, lots of interest in the Concord, but also interest in a gallop yesterday at Newcastle. A regimental Band is the leader on the rail for Chris Lees in this trial, but sitting outside is In Her Time, who's in the race as we know already. They ran home in a very slick 32-21 hand timed in this gallop that was really over uh, about six to 800 metres. Meters. They sprinted up down the straight and the horse that uh, sat off them, El Dorado Dreaming, will be seeing uh, tomorrow week in the Theo Marks. For in her time, she's getting close to racing. She run the shorts a fortnight Saturday. Um, she's a mare who reacts well fresh and I just think spacing her runs now that at her age is probably more beneficial for her. So at the moment, the Tab Everest Marcus has uh, Santa and Elaine, the favourite, heading towards the shorts. Uh, Classique Legend uh, will trial this week coming up. And as I say, in her time at around $15 at this stage, and it's likely the 10 sovereigns won't run over the weekend in the UK. What a weekend of racing we've got. Get full reflection Sunday morning at 9 on Thoroughbred Weekly.